here. Welcome to my live stream, taking a look at the Strangers Instrumental Blue Rock. In this live stream, I'm going to break down what I did in my previous video of the playthrough of the head and solo for this tune. If you'd like to follow along with what I'm teaching, you can purchase the PDF of the tab and standard notation of the head and the solo as the correct fingerings and the correct articulations and accompanying chords. The link to that will be in the description. So to start off, I would like to cover the head. So we'll go head, head, and then there are fills between the heads, and then a solo, and then a third head. So the first part, guitar one, we have this low idea that's going. <laughs> part. So we're just taking a low E and moving from E, G sharp, B, so just an arpeggio, one through five, and then sliding into our E at the octave. So we have, and we go D to B, and then back up to E. So that's our first phrase. Then a similar phrase. So just D, B, then low E. Then we have, with the bend here on our G, just a little quarter bend. And then E, B, D, E. That's going to be guitar one, the low part. Now, the high part is the same thing. We're just taking it up an octave. So we have... And what I like to do here is keep this jangly. So I want to have the E here, then the G sharp, and then the B. So we have this E chord, and then we're going to slide up. If you want to grab the open string too, we're going to the E on the fifth fret. So the more E ringing, the better it sounds. D, B, and I'm going to slide up again to that E. Same thing with the slight adjustment at the end. Then down to the E. Then lastly, same lick we did lower, but now I just have the G, then E, B, D, E. That's going to be our head. So now let's talk through the fills. The first fill we have sounds like this. We'll go. that down we're at E and we're going to work up to an A pentatonics position to highlight our A chord the four chord so we have this E we're going to bend the D the flat seven up to our fretted note here the E on the second string so we'll go like so and I'm using a pick and finger to get that and then I'm going to do a bend and then pick on the second string sometimes I do this with all picks sometimes I use pick and finger so I'll go then up to the F sharp and then to the G and then to the G sharp. So I have this a really nice line, kind of a cool classic country lick that you hear people like James Burton as well do. So we'll have this working up one, two, flat, three, three, and then we're here in our A pentatonic position. So this is like the BB King blues box. We can see the A chord C shape here. And we have this. So 
So we're bending our G up to an A. This is something you don't typically see many people do in this position, bending the third string, but we bend this up to the A, and then we bend our B up to the C sharp. And I'm gonna grab my high E on the first string and then release it. So I'll go. So A, B, G, A. And then I'm gonna bend my B back up to the C sharp and then my G back up to the A, catching that E in between. So the phrase here we have, so just going back and forth with that double E at the end, it's a jangly kind of string bending lick. From there, we're going to a B chord and we're gonna highlight the B chord by just moving up that pentatonic box and simply Starting B here, we'll move the C sharp up to a D sharp. So we'll go and then grab the D sharp with our first finger and release it. So we have this. That little ending phrase. And then we're gonna move down from a G chord, F sharp chord, F chord resolving on an E, so a cool little chromatic choral movement. And then that's highlighted by these bends here. So we're in our G chord, G chord shape. We're gonna bend the D, excuse me, we're gonna hold down the D and then bend the A while holding this down. So we have, and we're gonna drop it down a half step to the F sharp and then the F. And then we'll play this phrase. So we're back to E here and we're just playing simple kind of blues pentatonic lick. Then we're taking that up a minor third to the minor E minor pentatonics, which covers the A chord. So we have, so I'm just bending that A up to a B and release, releasing it as a kind of a triplet. Then D, E, your E, D, E, 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 and then resolving into our B chord and kind of like a Jimi Hendrix B chord here, especially later on when we come back into the head. So grabbing the chord like so. So that's our first fill. Again, we have So fill one down. Now fill two. So we're gonna play here, we'll go up to the E major chord with the G um, shape or position. And it's gonna go. That's our fill two. So to break that down, we're now just playing those two major bends and then moving that up a minor third. Like so, so we have. So that is resolving down to the A chord there. Just kind of E pentatonics, minor pentatonics to hit that four chord. And then we're gonna do a quick little slide up to the B. So we have this phrase. And I'm gonna keep coming up pretty high on the guitar right here at the 17th fret. We're gonna play. So I'm playing E, 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 and then bending this A up to a B. This is all E minor pentatonics. And I'm gonna catch the D and then bend my A up to a B. 
and then pick that B that's already bent a few times there. So I have this. And I'm gonna do the same lick on the B where I have. So just bending that C sharp up to a D sharp, catching the D sharp on the first string. And then I'm gonna bend G, F sharp, F. And I'm gonna grab the major chord and just strum across the three strings. And then bend just the third string and then strum again. So that's a little pentatonic click. And then I'm gonna do the same thing now, but just on the third string with that added bend release, kind of triplet pull off. And then finishing off with C sharp down to B. That's gonna be the second fill. So one more time, a little slow going to that, we have. to the solo and then we'll come back to the final fill. So the solo is going to sound like this. We have this E chord that we're working out of. This is a really cool Roy Nichols lick. We're sliding into the fifth, up the triad, and then we're gonna play off the B and B flat, like so. So we have this. From there, I'm gonna come down my swing pentatonics. So that's G, F sharp, E, flat third, second, one, so. I'm gonna grab this D sharp, one step below the E there, and then down to the C, we have an altered sound here. So I'm gonna take the C and then do a quick hammer on pull off to the D and slide down to the B. So that phrase sounds like so. Then we'll play A, and then drop down to the G and work up chromatically. So we're gonna go G, G sharp, A, B flat, or A sharp, B. So we have. From there, I'm gonna play the D sharp into the E and then an open B as just like a little placeholder to launch me into this run with our string bending. So I have, so far, I'm gonna bend up into that E. So I have this James Burton-esque lick where I'm gonna go, And then I'm here at the A chord, so I'm gonna go. Which I think might be my favorite lick outside of the lick we just covered in the song. So I've got now, sorry, I'm getting some buzz on a chord here, that chord. So I have my, my lick now where I'm gonna go G up to A, and then B up to C sharp, so it's a great little bending into the next note kind of lick. And then up to this minor pentatonic through the A, D up to the E, grab the G underneath. So I have this. D, C. So I'm just coming back down and playing those. And then I'm going to bend up now B to, uh, excuse me, A to B. 
and then release it. So as I bend, I'm picking the second string D note. So I've got this. And I have this pentatonic lick. So B, D, E, G sharp, quarter note bend. That's B, D, E, B, A to finish off that lick. So it's So I'm just gonna bend up the A again and then drop it back down with the release in a quick triplet. And then walk it back up to my B chord. And then add the rest of it for that Jimi Hendrix style uh, altered chord there. So we have this. And that's gonna be your whole solo. So one more time through the solo slowly, we have. One more fill to finish off blue rock. I'm going to start up here and it's going to sound like this. We're going to go. So we're taking two E major bends, like so, and then we're going to do a pre-bend here and play. So I'm doing E, D, pre-bending the A to the B, and then giving a nudge on the G, and then I've got my A pentatonics here. And I'm just going to slowly bu build this up where I'm playing D and G. Pick and finger, and then release it, and then play this pentatonic lick. So I have... So C, D, C, D, C, A, and immediately I'm going to bend that up. So once I bend that A up to the B, and grab the D, I'm going to pick it a few times, and then release it, and resolve like so. Then I've got the B chord, and this is a cool lick where I'm going to go D, E, G, and I'm going to bend up A to B, and G to A, E to F sharp, C sharp to D sharp, and resolve on B. So if we look at that, we're going 1, flat 7, five and third of the B chord. So you're just highlighting the B chord there with those chord tones. And then we're coming back one more time for the G, F sharp, F and E, and this is now on the and, so we go one, one, one. And then resolve on your E bend there. So one more time, all of the final fill for Blue Rock we have That's going to conclude the Blue Rock playthrough and demonstrating these different parts from the head and the solo. If you'd like to follow along, please download the tab. The link is in the description. Purchase the tab. There's some upsells from my Roy Nichols courses. This is a great solo to get in your fingers if you're trying to work on your country pentatonics and string bending. He does a lot of great ideas just out of these simple pentatonic positions that we're all so familiar with. But a new twist on them for many of us who are just learning these things. 
So again, check out the link in the description. Check out my other video of me demonstrating Whooper Snooper, another great Strangers instrumental and Roy Nichols solo. And I'll see you in some future country instrumental lessons. Thank you.